Hello and welcome. I'm Chandan Lahiri from OTS Survival School. What I'm going to be showing you today is my off-grid power system. I'm going out for about 30 days. I'm going to be completely off-grid, living in the jungles of Uttarakhand. And uh, this is all my, not all, some of the equipment that I need to be charging. Uh, and I can't afford to be gallivanting up and down away from my location looking uh, for a place with electricity with, uh, with which I can charge all my stuff. So therefore, what I'm carrying is this. This is a solar panel. Now this is going to be charging pretty much all my stuff over the 30 days or as long as I want to stay in the, uh, in the outdoors, right? This is the solar panel. This is power film, manufactured by power film from Ames, uh, Iowa. This is a big one. This is a 60 watt uh, uh, solar panel and it's big and I wanted it big because I got uh, lots and lots of things to charge and uh, I'll just show you this this uh, opens out and this is a quarter this is half it opens up even further and that's what the panel is as long as this side of the panel is exposed to the Sun and Sun is the source of uh, energy, never-ending renewable source of energy. And if we can harness the power of the sun, use that to generate electricity, we are pretty much done. Because uh, the sun is not going to be losing out on its power generating capacity in a hurry. Now this is light. It's not very heavy at all. It's less than a kilo. And uh, this is my main generator. Now this comes with this port. So all that electricity that is generated using all those chips that you saw inside, that is going to be funneled through here and out through here. Now this needs to get connected to all the equipment, whichever equipment I'm going to be charging, and it'll end up charging all that. Now this comes with a cable which is three feet long, and I'll show you why I'm using this. It comes with this cable. This end goes into there, and I've got two ports. Now, the problem with that, this is only three feet long, and this needs to be out in the sun, and uh, which means because it's only three feet long, all the units that you're charging connected to the out uh, of the solar panel is also out in the sun, which is not such a good idea. And you could also be sitting next to the equipment out in the sun. So therefore, what I have is an extension cable, which gives me an extra 10 feet. So one end, of this extension cable fits into the solar panel and the other end fits into the original three foot cable. So now what I have is 13 feet. So the solar panel can be out in the sun and this cable can go all the way into shade, whether it's uh, the shade of a tree or it's uh, the shade of your shelter, the shade of a uh, a tent, a, uh, a tarp, whatever you have. So that's 10 feet. Now again, I've got two ports here with which I can charge two different pieces of equipment. So therefore you need two separate cables, which I have. Now these are the two cables. This is the male of a cigarette lighter, cigarette charger, like the ones you find for cars. Yeah. You plug that in there, you plug this in, in there, at the other end, you have different ports because different items require different kinds of uh, input devices. So if I'm, for instance, charging my power bank, I take the in, plug it in here. As long as this is out in the sun, this is charging. I've got another port, so I can use that and maybe charge my laptop. Now both my laptop and my power bank are connected to the solar panel, which is uh, gathering in all the, uh, the sun's rays, converting it into electricity, passing it through these two cables, and charging these two items. Now what if the sun is not there, and it's cloudy, or it's raining, or it's, uh, it's night? I still need to download all the footage that I've shot through the day. So as long as my power bank is charged, I have uh, power that I can take out of this. So therefore, I've got another cable, 
one end of which I fix into my uh, out of the power bank and the other end I fit into the in of my laptop. Now regardless of whether there's sun or not, as long as there's power in my power bank, the power bank is supplying electricity onto my laptop with which I can do whatever I need to do. The laptop battery would have about three hours of battery. Power bank would be, give me another three, four hours. So all in all, enough power uh, to charge my stuff, uh, to download all the footage that I've shot through the day. And I'm shooting a lot of footage. There's the camera that I'm shooting on, which is the 5D. I've got a Handycam, which I'm going to be using. And I've got a GoPro, which I'm going to be using. So a fair bit of footage throughout the day. The problem that I have is the 5D, actually. And now, this is my charger. This is the battery. And this is the charger. Unfortunately, I could not find a charger which would charge the battery using the solar panel. So I'm stuck with an AC panel, you know, an AC cord with which to charge my Canon batteries. Now, obviously, my solar panel has only got the cigarette lighter point, the ports. It doesn't have an AC port. So therefore, what I'm carrying is an inverter. Now, this has got an AC port. So I can plug in my charger, the camera battery charger into the AC port. And as long as I can get power into this, that's going to charge. Now, in this inverter, what I have is a cigarette lighter, which I can plug into my solar panel, which will now provide electricity into the inverter with which I can charge my camera battery using a regular AC port. Now, all the equipment that I have comes with AC, uh, AC cables. So just in case the sun is down uh, or uh, some of the cables are misbehaving, uh, as long as the solar panel is working and the inverter is working, I can plug in my AC panel, uh, the AC cord into the inverter to charge it via AC. But I have the option of using these cables and these ports to be charging directly using the solar panel. The other thing that I'm carrying is there's lots of uh, batteries that I'll be uh, that I'll be needing every day. Uh, I've got my torch, I've got my headlamp, I've got uh, uh, my uh, microphone, the one that you're hearing my voice on, and that's a lapel microphone, the one that you see here. And uh, that takes uh, four batteries, two on the transmitter and two on the receiver. I can't be carrying, an, and it requires about 10 to 12 batteries a day. So over 30 days, I can't be carrying 50 batteries, right? So therefore, what I have is this, which will charge four batteries, rechargeable batteries, whether it's AAA or AA. And this, I can use the solar panel to charge. Again, it comes with an AC uh, uh, cord. I can use this to charge this, or I can just use the cigarette lighter. I can plug this in into the uh, into the solar panel itself, and I can charge all my batteries. Now, it looks like a lot of equipment. Yes, it is. Uh, all things put together will be about uh, less than five kilos, actually. And uh, unfortunately, when you are tired, when you're fatigued, when you're hungry, when you're thirsty, and that's what's going to happen when you're out in the wilderness, every gram counts. It's not so much that every kilo counts, every gram will end up counting. So if you can reduce uh, the amount of stuff that uh, it's in your pack, you'll be better off. Now, unfortunately, all these things are absolutely essential because I can't not have any of these things. The only thing that I can possibly do away with is the AC cables for everything except my, except my camera battery because everything can be so charged with solar, but that's a backup that I'm, that I'm uh, carrying with me. So that's pretty much it. And uh, once I'm out on the field, once I'm doing my 30-day program, uh, there'll be a lot more videos to come up. I'll show you how exactly these works. I'll certainly do uh, another video on the, on the Mini Gorilla. Uh, this is Mini Gorilla. There's another one, which is Power Gorilla. The advantage of this is it's got an AC out, and I can select the voltage uh, that is going out, all the way up to 19 volts. My laptop is 19 volts, so I need a 19 volt out. A USB out uh, power bank is not going to charge my laptop because USB only gives me five volts, right? So I'll do a, a video on that. I'll, uh, I'll show you how the inverter works. I hope it works because this is something which has been uh, manufactured. It's not off the shelf. 
And that's pretty, pretty much it. I'll be seeing you soon. This, like I said, is my off-grid power system. And I could be living off-grid using my solar panel, using all these cables with all this equipment, as long as it uh, uh, keeps on working. And if you look after it, there's no reason why it should not keep on working. As I go along, I'll show you more videos on each of these items. And of course, more fun tips when I'm out in the jungle over the 30 days in Uttarakhand. Thanks for joining me. Cheers.